Hello everyone, it's Karen here. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how I DIY a landmine base unit for 1 inch weight plates and 1 inch barbell. Completely free. And you can find everything at home and you don't need to buy anything. And by the way, it doesn't require a corner. The workout program I'm following right now will need to have a landmine attachment unit. So I look at Amazon to try to find a landmine attachment that can work with my current home gym equipment, which are 1 inch weight plates and barbell. And these are the stuff I found. There are around two types of landmine base attachment available on Amazon. The first type, you need 2 inch weight plates to secure them. I don't have any 2 inch weight plates, so this option is not available for me. The second type, they need to be attached to something that's very secure, such as a wall, ground, door, or a power cage. The problem is, I don't want to bolt anything in my studio apartment. And I don't have enough space around the only two doors in my studio to perform the exercise, so the second type are out as well. However, there's one available landmine base unit that can work with my current home gym setting. It uses 1 inch plates to secure the base and can work with both 1 inch and 2 inch barbells. But there must be some problem with it or I wouldn't be making this video. Yes, it's way too expensive. Eventually, I decided to go on the DIY route. I looked at YouTube to get some inspiration from it and while researching for the DIY ideas, I found out that we only need a barbell and a corner, then we can perform the exercise. All we need to do is to protect the walls from damaging while we are doing the exercise. Then I found the two easiest solution for corner wall protection. The first one is from the channel, the Garage Gym Review. It only needs to stick a tennis ball on one end of the barbell, then it's good to go. The second one is from a YouTuber named Ryan Treadway. He used a cardboard box and some foam to protect the corner. The video links are in the description. I do think these two are the best DIY solution if you have a corner available for you to do the exercise, because it's just so easy to make. The problem is I don't have any available corner at my place. As the result, I decided to design it myself. I started with analyzing the existed product. What I concluded was that a standalone landmine base I need must have these three following attributes. First, it needs a 1 inch tube to hold a 1 inch barbell. Second, a pivot point at the end of the tube. Third, something that can attach to my 1 inch weight place to secure the unit on the floor. With these three attributes in mind, I started to look around in my studio. And these were the things that I found. A 1 inch hard cardboard tube to hold the barbell. It's the core of a used up aluminum foil box. A 25 pound 1 inch weight plate to hold the landmine base unit on the floor. A never used reusable shopping bag to connect the cardboard tube to the weight. Last but not least, a pair of disposable chopsticks and some rubber bands to hold everything together. This is how the finished DIY standalone landmine base unit for 1 inch plates and barbell look like. Let me show you how I put it together. First, cut a hole at the bottom center of the shopping bag. Make sure that the size is not too big or too small. Second, put a cardboard tube through the hole into the bag. Third, tie the bag strap into a knot. Be sure to align the knot to the end of the cardboard tube. Fourth, lay the bag flat, organize the folds, fold the bag in half, then use the tube as the cord to roll the bag up. Fifth, use the rubber bands to tie up the rolled up bag on the cardboard tube. Sixth, take the strap of the shopping bag, pull them through the center hole of the 1 inch weight plate. You need to pull the knot through the hole as well. Seventh, find a small hole on your knot and stick the chopstick through. Then the standalone landmine base unit is done. It works perfect for me. If you don't have some of the material, you can always swap it out with things you already have. If you don't have a pair of disposable chopsticks, you can use a pencil to replace it. Or if you don't want to cut a hole on your durable reusable shopping bag, you can swap it with an old t-shirt and you won't need to cut a hole on it. 
Let me quickly show you how you can use an old t-shirt to make the lemmy base unit. First, put a tube into the t-shirt. Second, use the cardboard tube to roll up the t-shirt. Third, use rubber bands to tie up both ends. Fourth, place your weight plates on the top of the shirt. Then it's done. Because I only placed the weight plates on the shirt, this is not as secure as the one I made previously, but this one is definitely easier to make. If you want to make a 2-inch barbell version, simply swap the 1-inch cardboard tube to a 2-inch tube. If you don't have a 2-inch tube at home, you can take the core of your kitchen towel or toilet paper, things like that, and cut them open. Use your 2-inch barbell as reference and tape them together to form a 2-inch tube. Because I don't have a 2-inch barbell, I just use a tape measure to roughly measure it. At the end of this video, I just want to say, no aluminum foil are wasted in the making of this video and in the making of those DIY ideas. And thank you so much for watching. I hope this video is helpful and let me know if you want to try this or not. And remember to like and subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you won't miss my future video. I'll see you next time. Bye!